Hello, I'm happy to have the opportunity to briefly explain how the German social media law, the Network Enforcement Act, works. It has been come fully into effect at the beginning of 2018, so we have already some experience with the law. The core element is that social media platform providers are required to have an effective complaints management. What does that mean under the law? That means that they must offer an easily recognizable, directly accessible and permanently available procedure for reporting criminally punishable content. The law does not define what misinformation is or defines what hate speech is, but it just refers to existing clauses in the German criminal law. These are, to take examples, um, defamation or slander or incitement to hatred, but there are many other clauses of the criminal law the Network Enforcement Act refers to. When there is a complaint um, and the content um, that is in question is manifestly illegal, uh, then the provider has just 24 hours to block access to the content or remove the content. In case it is unlawful, but if that is not manifestly un uh, unlawful, um, the provider has seven days to check um, whether it's legal or not legal and then uh, take uh, action. They must give uh, notification to the user and uh, has to explain the decision that has been taken. There are some fines in case the system does not work properly, so the fines do not apply to each and every case where the supervisory authority, uh, which is the Office of Justice, directly reporting to the Minister of Justice, um, um, has a contradicting view, but it's just in case that there is a system failure or misfunction of the whole system. There are also reporting obligations under the law. Uh, that is uh, why we know that um, the number of cases is relatively high. Uh, the reported number very much depends on how the um, service operator uh, checks the content uh, um, if um, they check it against their own standards before and these standards are very rigid and cover already a lot of things that are illegal under German law then there are not so many cases left for the check under the Network uh, Enforcement Act which makes the desired uh, um, transparency a little bit problematic um, um, nevertheless, uh, at least with some providers, there are still um, hundreds of thousands of cases a year uh, that have to be checked, just to give you um, a flavor of uh, the um, amount of, of content that is in question, even in a relatively small country um, like uh, Germany. They have, the providers have to uh, have a contact point, uh, not only for the uh, provider, is um, um, obligation to, to receive complaints, but also for interaction with the um, criminal justice system. We have right now a discussion about um, changing the law, amending the law, and um, uh, there are two things that are under consideration. One thing is um, that uh, we had a case of, of one person um, shooting uh, other people in a city in Germany and um, there was some communication about that on a platform but not on a traditional social media platform but a gaming platform and now we are considering including them into the scope of the law as well. Um, that is uh, one um, aspect and the other aspect that is um, discussed in Germany is um, whether there should be an obligation to put back uh, legal content that is legal um, back on the platform uh, because, and that's uh, one of the main critics, uh, criticisms um, against the law, that it creates incentives for the platforms in doubt just to delete uh, because there is no obligation to put content back but uh, you can violate the Network Enforcement Act if you don't um, uh, remove it so there is this uh, incentive 
uh, which is from a freedom of speech perspective uh, extremely problematic because we know that social media plays a major role now um, for exchange of views and getting information at least for a specific part of the society. So um, the law has been uh, criticized especially um, in view of the short uh, time frame um, that is given here. Uh, and one of the main criticisms is that um, when there are two people fighting, uh, when you have a defamation case, then even um, the uh, courts in Germany have problems in deciding and one court might decide this way or the other way because you need a lot of context information which is not on the platform. So uh, one of the, uh, the uh, the requests are that the law is changed in a way that only um, the um, cases are covered where uh, you can see from the information of the platform whether the content is legal or not legal. Otherwise, um, uh, the law is overbroad and um, uh, we have uh, freedom of speech uh, issues and freedom of information issues here. Thank you very much for listening.